Hi guys, welcome to today's lesson about multiplication. Um, I will be showing you how to use the vertical method as well as what I got used to know as the block method to do multiplication. Okay, so when it gets to multiplication, we can define it as repeated addition. For example, if I say 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2, it's the same as saying 2 times 1, 2, 3, 4, which is 8. Or we can talk about it as equal groups. For example, when there is three kids, it's each child must get three lollipops. So then it's three times one, two, three, which is nine. And then we can also talk about it as an array. An array is like an air carton or a slab of chocolate where you've got two rows and there's three in a row. Three times two is six. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the vertical method. I am going to go step by step with you guys. You are more than welcome to pause any time during the video and rewind if you missed a step somewhere. Okay, so let's say I'm going to multiply 234 times 23. Okay, so what you do is simply write it. underneath each other and make sure that you stick to the place values okay so we start at the back with the units 3 times 4 is 12 2 and you carry over the 1 there is space for only one digit okay then you carry over the 1 next 3 times 3 is 9 plus 1 is 10 you write the 0 Carry over the 1. Remember, 1 digit in a spot. 3 times 2 is 6 plus 1 is 7. So basically, this 702 is 234 times 3. So we are one step closer to getting our answer. Next is when we multiply with this 2. But it's very, very important for you guys to remember that that 2 is not... A unit but it is a ten so it represents 20 and most of you guys would know that when you multiply with a multiple of 10 your answer will always end on a zero that's why we immediately write a zero there it's not a placekeeper it actually has a purpose there any number multiplied by a multiple of 10 ends on a zero okay now now we can go on multiplying with the 2. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 3 is 6. And 2 times 2 is 4. Okay, so we've got one next step done. Now we have to add the two numbers because we don't want them separately. We want the number 234 times 23. 2 plus 0 is 2, 0 plus 8 is 8, 7 plus 6 is 13, write the 3, carry over the 1, 4 plus 1 is 5. Okay, and there you go, that's basic simple vertical method. Okay, so next we are going to do the block method, um, it's actually known as the lattice method. I'm going to use exactly the same numbers and I'm going to draw the block with you so you can see exactly how the block is formed. Okay, so first of all, um, each digit needs a block. So two, I'm just going to write it a bit further apart so it's easier to see. And then the 23. So each digit here will have a column and each one here will have a row. Okay. So, like this. Okay. Sorry for the freehand sketch. All right. Then we need to put diagonal lines in each block. This separates the place values. So this diagonal block here at the bottom, this triangle here is the units, this whole piece here is tens, hundreds, thousands and ten thousands. Okay, so you can start anywhere, but I usually like to start with the units. Three times four, so you are going to bring the digits 
together like this and multiply each digit with another. 3 times 4 is 12. We write the 2 and we carry over the 1. Sorry, you guys can't see. Okay, 3 times 3 is 9. So there's nothing going to be in the top part. 3 times 2 is 6. You can write zeros there or just simply leave them open. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 3 is 6. And 2 times 4 is 8. And then you did all your multiplication. Now we are going to do our addition part. Okay, so I like to take my ruler as a guideline. This 2 is the only unit we have here. It's going to be all alone. 2, move it up. 8 plus 9 plus 1. 8 plus 1 is 9. 9 plus 9 is 18. We write the 8 down and we carry over the 1. Okay, 6 plus 6 is 12. Plus 1 is 13. We write the 3, carry over the 1. 4 plus 1 is 5 and there's nothing in the top block and there you have your answer exactly the same different two methods okay guys so what i will do is i will make all the notes that i talked about i will make a proper anchor chart for you guys and then also upload it on the video and there's going to be a few examples for you guys to do um, on your own and then the corrections will also be there with a small explanation Okay guys, here's two examples for you to do. I'm going to do this one using the vertical method and this one using the block method. Okay, so you guys hit pause on your screen, try it yourself and then afterwards when you're done, you can play and watch the rest of the video while I do the corrections with you. Okay, 345 multiplied by 36. Okay, we start at the back with the units. 6 times 5 is 30. Write the 0, carry over the 3. 6 times 4, 24 plus 3 is 27. 6 times 3 is 18 plus 2 is 20. Okay, remember we write the zero because we are multiplying with a multiple of 10 now. 3 times 5 is 15. 3 times 4 is 12. Plus 1, 13. Okay, and then 3 times 3 is 9. Plus 1 is 10. Now we have to add the two numbers together. 0 plus 0 is 0. 5 plus 7 is 12. Carry over the 1. 3 plus 0 plus 1 is 4. 2 plus 0 is 2. And then you have the 1. Okay, so I hope you guys got it correct. Next one, block method. Okay, remember each digit gets a block. I'm going to use two blocks so it's a little bit bigger and you guys can see it easier. Okay, don't try and cramp it up into a small space. Much easier to make a mistake like that. Okay. Diagonal lines. Okay, 4 times 4 is 16, 7 times 4, 28, 4 times 2 is 8, 4 times 3 is 12, 7 times 3 is 21, 3 times 2 is 6, now we take our ruler, 
6 is the only one there. 8 plus 1 is 9. Move it up. 8 plus 2 is 10. Plus another 2 is 12. 6 plus 2 is 8. Plus 1 is 9. Plus another one is 10. Alright, the 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. Okay, there you go guys. There's your multiplication questions. Okay guys, there you go. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you learned something about multiplication today and that it's a little bit easier for you to do. If there's any topic you want me to discuss or explain to you guys or any questions about this topic, please leave a comment below and remember to press the like button.